Hi, I'm Dave, and I'm an operator here at the Seashore Trolley Museum in Kennebunkport, Maine. In previous videos, we've shown you how trolleys operate with overhead power and how we control that power to get a trolley to operate at various speeds. In this video, we'll show you how we stop a trolley with air brakes. On a trolley car of this vintage, the brakes are powered by air, and that air is provided by a compressor that runs on the same 600 volts as the motors that propel the car, and that's done via the brake stand. The brake stand has three positions. The middle is kind of a neutral position. All the way to the right is how we apply the brakes, and they're applied right now. If I move it all the way to the left, we release the brakes, and that allows the car to move forward when we apply some power. If I chose to stop the car now, I simply move the handle back to the right a little bit, and it applies air to the brake system. The compressor that you can hear in the background right now is filling storage tanks with air at a high pressure. When we move the handle to the right, as we described earlier, air is released from those tanks into a cylinder with a piston that pushes the brake rigging and puts a brake shoe against the wheels of the car. In an actual trolley and train brake rigging, it looks like this. 